Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Sam Banerjee with Bull and Bear IT Traders and today we are going to learn about Japanese candlestick charts. Let's get started. So basically we are going to go through what are candlestick charts, what is a candlestick and the patterns of candlestick. A candlestick chart is the time tested effective method of plotting the movement of market price of an asset for shorter or longer time frame. So it is a market analysis tool when properly integrated with technical analysis indicator they assist in making decision whether to enter a trade or not. Now, there are two types of people in the market. One is buyer, people who buy, and sellers, people who sell. Now, buyers and sellers move the market based on emotions such as fear and greed, expectations and emotions. Fear to lose money and greed to make money. Now, different charting techniques which are used are MT4 platform, tradingview.com, netdania.com, and freestockcharts.com. Basically, a charting tool looks like this. You, as you can see, there are two colors. One is red and one is green. Each, these are called as candlesticks. There are two candlestick colors, red and green, and they have some significance, which we are going to see in our next slide. Now, this is a chart for a time frame of 15 minutes. As you can see, this there is a, there is a trend in this chart, one from here to here, and then from here to here. We're going to see what that is. This is called as the downward movement and this is the upward movement. Now let's go and check what this candlesticks are. Basically a candlestick depicts the battle between the buyers and sellers. The buyers try to buy and sellers try to sell. Whoever is in the majority, they win. So, when the buyers are trying to buy, the market moves in the upward direction. And when the sellers are trying to sell, the market moves in the downward direction. So, basically a candlestick represents the action of the buyers and sellers in a particular time frame chart that you are looking. So let's say in 15, this is a candlestick of 15 minutes. And let me explain you what happened. The price started here and the sellers were trying to sell. So the price moved down, but the buyers had more power. So they buy more than what was sold. So they, the price moves up all the way until here and then closes and then the seller takes over and the price closes here. But at the end of 15 minutes, the price moved from here till here. That is why this is called as a green candle, a bull candle or an upward candle. Please make a note of the terms because this is going to help you in the future. And on the other side, when it is a bear candle, or a red candle, the price started here, the buyers were trying to buy, so the price went up, but then the sellers took over, took the power, and they started selling so hot that they, the buyers were overtaken, and the market price moved down, 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 all the way up here, and then it, but then the buyers took over, and the price finished here. That's why this is called as a down candle, downward candle or downward movement of the market. So
so when you see a green candle it means the market is moving up and when you see a red candle this means the market is moving down all right now what are these what are these so let's see what they are these are these shows the highest price of that particular asset or highest point where the market has moved and the lowest point where the market has moved these are called as the shadow of the candle this is the actual body of the candle and these are called as the shadow of the candle so let's see in our chart what happened if you see in this in this chart whenever there is there are more red candles the price has gone down the market price has gone down and whenever there are more green candles the market price has gone up so basically that is what you are looking for red candles and green candles most of the traders use this color because that is how they say they they even on the traffic lights you see green means go and red means stop so in the same way the red goes down and the green goes up now let's see some of the patterns of candlesticks the first one is called as a hammer a hammer is always used on a downtrend when the market is moving down and at the after the after the after the downtrend if you see an hammer it always means that the market is about to go up so a hammer indicates a trend change of the market let's see in our chart now you see the market has moved down and you see a hammer the market started moving up so the price went up so that that is what a hammer indicates this is a perfect hammer which shows you that the trend is going to change now when do you look for an hammer when it is a downtrend and what does what exactly ha happens in an hammer candle <clears throat> the price starts here and because it's a downtrend the seller still tries to sell but then the buyers take over and they try to push the price up so they push it up up until the point where they reaches they crosses the the starting price and they just close a little bit up over the starting price and that's what forms the perfect hammer candle now the next one is a hanging man hanging man looks almost similar to an hammer except this one happens when the market is moving in the upward direction the hammer happens when the market moving downward direction but hanging man happens when the market is moving in the upward direction this also tells you that the market is going to go down or change the trend when a hanging man appears so if the market is going in the upward direction it means the buyers are buying but when a hanging man appears it means it's time to sell what happens the buyers still keep buying all the way up but then the the sellers they try to sell all the way down but then the buyers take over they try to push the price a little up but that is when you know that the power of the buyers is finished and that power of the seller will take over so hence a hanging man represents the change of trend and the market will go down after this hanging man candle let's see if we can find a hanging man if you see the buyers were taking over and then this is not a perfect hanging man but just for the example you see there is no wicks up no shadows up and just the candle 
and the small and the tail. So next candle, the price went down. So that is what a hanging man shows you. And finally is a doji. A doji means complete indecision in the market. The buyers are trying to push, are trying to buy <clears throat> and the price goes up. And after that, the sellers take over the, and they, they push the price down until here. But then the buyers again take over, they push the price until here. So hence, it, the power of the buyers and the sellers are the same. Hence, it shows a lot of uncertainty in the market. And a doji often represents a change of trend in the market. Let's see one example. Here you see the buyers try to buy and push it up. And this is a perfect doji candle. Again, one more here. On a, after a green candle, when a doji appears, a red candle. After a red candle, when a doji appears, a green candle. Hence, you can say that a doji always represents a change of trend in the market. The candle patterns when used with good technical analysis indicator really gives very good results. So make, make note of them. We will see more advanced candle patterns in our next presentation. But until then, I'm saying goodbye. If you have any questions, please log into our website or our YouTube page or ask any questions from our traders. This is Sam taking a leave. Bye-bye.